welcome to another review by Green Giant Tactical. Uh, today I'm covering something that's going to be more important to those of you who use AEGs. Uh, you need something to power them with. When you start out, you'll probably be powering them off uh, sort of nickel metal hydride sticks like these. This is just an example that I don't actually use these. Um, they're bulky. Um, they don't usually hold much charge. I think this is only an 1100 milliamp hour, so that'll last half a day, which is impractical and they take an incredibly long time to charge, even on a fast charger. Um, so, as you get more into it, you'll come across a thing called a LiPo, which are smaller batteries. They are a lot smaller and they hold a lot higher capacity and can hold better charge. This is, if I can get the damn thing the right way up. This is a cheapish LiPo, these usually cost around 10 to 15 quid and these will fit just about anywhere. In fact this is for use in a stock tube so that gives you an idea. Well, this is a higher capacity than this battery which is probably double the size so uh, that gives you a better idea of that one. Um, when you're actually, so when you're charging them on the other hand you can use a box standard charger on these but you'll need a different charger for these because you need to balance them while you're charging them, uh, which basically means these will have two or more cells in them for our use because it will be 7.4 volt or an 11.1 volt. Uh, so when you're charging these, these have to be equally balanced between the cells, otherwise they can go boom. Um, so what you do is you've got the lead which you obviously plug into the charger, this allows you to charge it, but you have the second lead which plugs into a little computer chip in the charger, uh, which well, tells the charger how much voltage there is in either side of the cell. Uh, so what you'll need is a decent charger. Now before me, I'm just going to dip the camera down so you can actually see this, I've got a IMAX B6. Uh, these are pretty much the bog standard LiPo chargers, they're not that expensive, they can be any on standard without a charger you're looking at about 30 to 40 quid. Uh, then you also need the power lead as well which is probably about another 10 pounds on top. It comes with a variety of leads but I've had a custom lead made up so I can do various types. So I've got a Dean's connector, a large Tamiya type and a mini Tamiya type so I've got pretty much every battery covered. On here you've got a readout display which just has decided to not let me show on this camera. Let's see if I can get it closer. Well, yeah, on here you have that. On the ends you have the battery lead, obviously, which is connected up with banana plugs. Um, just pull those out. So that type connector, you just push those in. When you're hooking up the battery, you pick the appropriate connector. In this case it's a Dean, so I'll plug it up there. Slide that on like so. Then when you go to charge, you can flip through the various modes, um, which in this case is a LiPo charge. I'll plug it into the appropriate size slot on the control panel here. This is the balancer itself. So that plugs in. You then have a option to go select the battery type. I've already got it selected. And then within that, you have sub-menus which can be increased or decreased. So I'll set it to a balanced charge. So you can hear it's got an audible tone. Um, so I'll just bring the camera back up again. Um, so this will charge pretty much anything that you'd ever use in Airsoft. So ideally get one of these because they'll cover any future battery changes, be it life. So uh, lithium ferrous battery, which are large and different uh, cell type with uh, variation in the voltage which is slightly lower but provides the same level of performance on each specific version. Um, when you do that you then hold the start button down, it'll do a little beep, then it's doing the battery check. Is it got two cells? Yes. Is it, well it's got a receive, send, uh, two cells on both, is that correct? You then press confirm and then it'll start charging. Uh, it allows you to set how much charge you're putting into the battery at any time. 
um, obviously it gives a readout of what the current voltage is on each cell and, a and how much time has been spent doing the charge. I've currently got it sent to charge at uh, 1.2 amps, so that's uh, an approximation of how big the battery is. So if it's a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, you'd put it at 2.5 amps, so then you can charge it at the speed of the battery. Uh, it's a good charger, get one of these, simple as. Um, you have other variations, obviously you have the Turnergy AccuCell 6s, which are the same charger but a copy of these. These have been around longer, despite what forums will tell you. Um, I've actually owned this for probably 10 years now, uh, they were a lot more expensive back then, uh, but these have definitely been around longer. Uh, WE are now bringing out their own versions, uh, be interesting to see how they work in comparison to these. I haven't got one to test, I'm trying to get hold of one to test, but that will come at a later date. This is only a quick overview, so as you go, uh, usuals, uh, like the Facebook page, which will be mentioned at the bottom down here, uh, along with uh, subscribe to us if you may, um, and Twitter, and our website will also be mentioned in the links below. Thanks very much. Green Giant out.